Now I'd like to introduce the next award. It is for an outstanding engineering project. The next award is the National Award for an Engineering Project, which goes to the Port of Beldoon Expansion Project, offering some of the shortest shipping routes between large European and North American markets. The Port of Beldoon opens up a sea of unlimited opportunity, quite literally, to shipping companies as well as importers and exporters. The year-round marine transport facility is a modern deep water point of access to key northeastern markets and global markets. Working around the water is, is always difficult. Working around tidal waters is, uh, just complicates things. Le Nouveau-Brunswick compte deux ports industriels d'importance, le port historique de saint jean sur la rive sud et le port de Belle-Dune sur la rive nord dans la baie des Chaleurs. The Chaleur Bay provides worldwide shipping access through the North Atlantic. The Port of Beldoon expansion project represents the largest single capital project in the port's history. The project manager and designer, David J. Perdue, PNG, oversaw specific upgrades. The port's capabilities uh, are now taken to another level by having a new terminal, uh, having 35 hectares of additional cargo space. It is, after all, a bulk terminal, a bulk, uh, bulk handling facility. The construction of a row-row barge terminal is part of the scope. A large dredging project, dredge containment cell construction, lay-down area construction, and the construction of a cooling water intake pipe for the Brunswick smelter. The roll-on, roll-off uh, terminal um, was, a, was a component that the port was missing. The port did not have a method to load any cargo direct onto the ship. It had to be loaded by crane, so that limited the size of the cargo. The roll-on, roll-off allows for rolling cargo, such as cars, trucks, construction equipment, barge wharf, part of the terminal, allows for very heavy roll-on cargo, upwards of a thousand tons at a time. So that's a component that, of, of any port that's critical to its growth and its future. Le projet de 65,5 millions de dollars a été financé conjointement par les gouvernements du Canada et du Nouveau-Brunswick, ainsi que par le port de Belle-Dune. Led by Gemtech Limited, the team assembled to assure the success of this endeavor consisted mainly of New Brunswick-based companies. The construction of the terminal itself, though, essentially consists of the placement of a number of concrete cribs. And uh, these cribs are constructed on a barge, and this barge actually sinks as the cribs are built. And these cribs are built watertight, so they will float. They are positioned in place with tugboats to very, very precise tolerances within 75 millimeters. And uh, the contractor, to their credit, did an did a, uh, exemplary job in, in accomplishing that. And of 13 cribs constructed, only one need to be repositioned after their initial placement of it. The interior of the railroad terminal is actually a dredge containment cell. And that had been constructed prior to and actually during the placement of the concrete cribs. And that allowed the dredging project to proceed simultaneous to other works. And the dredge material was used as a fill material in order to construct the actual parking surface in the rower terminal itself, which allowed us to get essentially dual usage for the uh, dredge material. Without the cooperation of Everyone from, from the designers to the, to the local people, to the tenants, to the funding partners, it wouldn't have worked. And it, we brought together a huge number of people and coordinated that on a, on a very tight schedule, and it worked. It was a great success that way. One of the most rewarding parts of the project is essentially to look at the finished product and recognize that a great deal of capital was, was spent in a very short period of time with a great benefit in terms of the infrastructure that we were able to provide. And largely that infrastructure was designed and, and built by local people. So we're quite proud of that. The nature of the infrastructure created by the Beldoon project provides a foundation for future industrial development and related business opportunities. Engineers Canada is proud to present the 2012 National Award for an Engineering Project to the Port of Beldoon Expansion Project. 
Accepting this award on behalf of Gemtech is David J. Perdue, PNG. And as we just heard, accepting this award on behalf of the Port of Beldoon Expansion Project is David J. Perdue, PNG, and a member of APEG NB. This project was led by Gemtech, and Mr. Perdue was the project manager and designer. Ladies and gentlemen, David Perdue, PNG. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, very humbled to be in your presence this evening. Uh, this was a, a very big project, uh, and it was really came together with teamwork. I think that's uh, an important uh, important thing to recognize. Uh, I know we, that's something we hear a lot but uh, teamwork is very, very important. And at the same time, it's important as engineers that, uh, that we, we're pushing ourselves and we're, uh, we'll work outside the box a little bit. Uh, I know that comment was made a couple of times uh, earlier this evening. Uh, it's very, very important to uh, always push ourselves. Um, and uh, there was a lot of people involved in this project. Uh, I'm just one, one of many. And as I say, we're, we're very humbled that uh, the project was uh, selected. Marine projects are a little bit different. Um, essentially, you can think we built a five-story building underwater, so you, a lot of the uh, a lot of the product that was actually uh, produced is uh, beneath the waves. So, uh, at any rate, I certainly like to thank Engineers Canada. We're very, very uh, we feel very honored uh, at the awards committee, and uh, also humbled by some of the other uh, uh, recipients of awards that uh, are in the room tonight. Uh, some awesome projects, uh, awesome accomplishments. Thank you very much.